This is your KCTV 5 News Update. KCTV 5 stands for you in the battle against COVID-19 today. We start with the latest figures on the numbers of new cases in Missouri and Kansas. Let's start on the Missouri side here. The state is averaging just over 2,800 new cases per day over the last week. In Kansas, that number is just under 2,200. Both of those numbers down from the recent peaks. But doctors warn they reflect a drop in the number of people being tested over the Thanksgiving holiday. It's likely that, that we'll see an increase above where we have been the past few days. I'm just hopeful that it's not significantly higher than maybe that peak on the 26th and we begin to see that downturn. The KCTV5 vaccine tracker is keeping your family informed today. Advisors to the CDC will meet to talk about and vote on who should get the coronavirus vaccine first. This will only be uh, what they call the emergency meeting so they can give their advice before any of the vaccine candidates get authorization. Another reason states have been asked to submit their vaccine distribution plans by Friday. And Kelly Taylor is at the Five Alert desk with new information on Missouri's plans for the vaccine. The Kansas City Health Department shut down five businesses over the Thanksgiving weekend for failing to follow the city's COVID rules. Public health officials visited 61 businesses over the weekend. They went to the Plaza, to Westport, 18th and Vine, the Power and Light District, and the Crossroads, among other places. They checked on crowd size, mask wearing, social distancing, and making sure that those bars and restaurants closed by 10 p.m. Health Department closed these four businesses for staying open past the mandated closing time. IHOP on Sterling Avenue, Club 31 on 85th Street, Taqueria Mexico on Southwest Boulevard, and Corrido's Taqueria on Independence. Avenue. Each of those restaurants had people there dining after that 10 p.m. Uh, timeline. At the Corner Bar and Grill at 18th and Vine, the health department said they found people not wearing masks and not keeping a social distance. When the owner refused the request to shut down, police officers then were called in. And as you can see, the holiday season is officially underway, but this year COVID is making it difficult even for Santa Claus. And that's why KCTB5 is helping get your kids' Christmas wishes to St. Nick himself. We're looking for 30-second videos of your children telling Santa what they want this year. You can upload those to kctv5.com slash Santa or our KCTV5 Facebook page. Please include your child's name, their age, and your hometown. Their wish could be broadcast during a KCTV5 newscast. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Tuesday afternoon weather update. Sunny skies and some light winds from the south are going to warm us up about 5 to 10 degrees more than we saw yesterday. High of about 47 by 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Overnight clouds roll in. Expect an overnight low in the upper 20s. Things change tomorrow, though, as the system approaches us from the south. We'll see rain, some rain here tomorrow afternoon that could turn over into a little bit of snow fall on Thursday morning. So just be on the lookout for an early early morning rush hour on Thursday. We could see some delays on the morning rush hour. The snow moves out on Thursday into Friday. It looks like the weekend's dry with temperatures close to normal or average temperatures in the upper 40s or low 50s. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.